happiness, we move next to concentration. And if I know anything about Buddhist meditation, <laughs> the word concentration <laughs> comes to mind. Yeah. Now we start to step towards something that begins to approach knowledge or understanding. Okay. So far, we've been laying the foundations for this. But the idea here is that with happiness, you know, the ability to accept things just the way they are, now we can start to focus. <laughs> we can actually do something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, because we're not wanting or needing anything. And we're going beyond the emotional, sensate world here. Um, concentration is something something quite abstract. You know, it doesn't have an emotion associated with it. It doesn't have any thoughts associated with it. It purely refers to the ability to be able to put awareness somewhere. You know, whatever yes. that might be. Might be yeah. on a thought, might be on a feeling, you know, could be anything. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's why, you know, maybe it has to be quite an abstract image. I mean, we've got this, got this picture of a of a target yeah. in a desert in the desert well you'd have to concentrate <laughs> the, 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 <laughs> but it's just it's that it was that kind of idea of the you know it's the the focusing in, in on something you know that you're you have a yeah. target so you have somewhere to aim at that's what you're doing you're kind of excluding it, everything around it to get to that just the from the happiness thing i suppose the reason why the concentration is possible is because you're no longer distracted by trying to be happy by looking at things exactly. and stuff like that. You're not wavering all over the place. You, you, and then once that goes, you can go, all right, this. <laughs> yeah. 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 With happiness, we're not needing anything. So we're no longer preoccupied with the contents of experiences. Right. Yes. Yeah, which yeah. enables us to get to this level of concentration, which goes beyond um the contents of experiences. So I like the, the symmetry of the image as well. There's something quite nice about it as well. It's, it's yeah. quite striking. Yeah. I like it how, you know, you've got a natural landscape and then this really quite odd object there, which is a kind yeah. of symbolic object. Um, and it, you know, and it looks like it's been that, there a while. It's, it's not pristine. <laughs> yeah. I mean, how did it get there? Who put it there? What's it for? <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you're confronted with something something a bit incongruous and concentration is a very weird thing when you think about it yeah yeah <laughs> yeah it's like it uh, bringing one thing into focus to the exclusion of all else it's, it's like it's uh well, I suppose yeah. it depends what you're concentrating on you could concentrate on everything <laughs> um, <laughs> well that's the strange thing about it isn't it i mean you could concentrate on anything um, you know, it could be an idea, a thought, like we were saying, you know, a mantra, an image, whatever. But you're, you're doing the same thing? Even yes, though it's yeah, with yeah. all these wildly different sorts of things, it's still the same activity. Same thing, yes, it's the same thing, yeah. It's a very abstract thing. It's just directing the mind. Well, how do you do that? I mean, what? I mean, <laughs> yeah. But, but we, we, we know what it is. We all, we, yeah. we, we've, even um, the most uh, unmeditative people around this cake, you know what concentration is. We've all, yeah. we've all, all experienced it. We're yeah. directing it, the mind, mm -hmm. even though you can't push or pull the mind. It doesn't have a left or a right or an up or a down. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. yet there's that this thing that enables us to do that. So, <laughs> in a divination sense, <laughs> just came up in a divination. Um, <laughs> Oh, well, well, I mean, I suppose it's clearly it'll be better concentrating on something. I suppose it's the obvious thing, but what, what, what further to that? Yeah, we'll have what else? Focus, dedication. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, being able to kind of penetrate into things, being able to kind of see them for what they are. There's a certain neutrality here, a certain capacity for objectivity, you know, to right. see things, yeah. but to not be sucked in by them or to be led astray by our own biases. Yeah, to see what's actually happening rather than the hype around it or whatever, the emotion around it or you know, the feeling, what it's trying to, would normally do to you, you go, no, that's just this, that doesn't mean anything, it's just that. Yeah, yeah. And then the reverse, <laughs> it sounds like not that. <laughs> it's it's um, 
So yeah, so being distracted, being flighty and not being able to focus on one thing. It's a lack of concentration, I suppose, then. Yeah. Not seeing what's going on, actually seeing going on, getting lost in the emotion of it or all of these things. Yeah, or, or self-centeredness. You know, rather than focusing on the centre of the target, um, you know, getting lost in in our own interests and delusions. Or, or missing the target. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, if this organization down here, that's a, that's a good one too. It's, it's like, cause you, the concentration is obviously, you know, you're contracting to a point. So then it would be <laughs> you know, free for all, having it going, uh, going away. Um, yeah. I think it's one of the, the, one of the ones that is more obvious in a way what, what exactly it is. Cause we know what concentration is. We might be massively brilliant at it. Um, and again, it's something that we have to cultivate. This is the point where it's a, a cultivation of this thing, but we know what it is, even if it's hard to describe. Mm. So. Mm. From concentration, this leads to insight.